Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can filter a SharePoint online list to display only those items that belong to the current user that is accessing that list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now specifically what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial is to implement a filter on a SharePoint list that will only display those items that are tagged with the individual who is currently accessing the list. So as you can see here, I have a list here that I'm using to track the status of invoices. And on this list, I have a column called requester, which is a person data type. So you can actually select an individual who exists in your Microsoft 365 environment and add that individual onto the specific item. Now the filter that we'll be looking to implement is going to ensure that whenever an individual lands on this list, they're only going to see the list of items where their name is populated in this requester column. Now this is very handy for this type of scenario where perhaps you have a robust list of items and you don't want your users to have to go ahead and create views or filter the list themselves. So you can actually just implement a filter that will just show them their items as soon as they land on this list. Now I'm also gonna show you a few different ways that you can do it. Uh, we'll get started working in the SharePoint modern experience, which is what you can see here on the screen. Uh, and the fastest and easiest way to implement this filter is to scroll up to the top of your SharePoint list. And you wanna go ahead and click on the filter pane. Essentially what this does is it allows you to implement quick filters on your list. Now you'll see here that my requester column appears right at the top of this pane and the first option is at me. Now if I go ahead and check this, what you're going to see happen is that this list is going to be reduced to only show those items where my name has been populated in the requester column. So I'll go ahead and click it and I'll close the filter pane and here you go. You can see that this list has been reduced to only four items and the common denominator here is that I am the requester in all of these. Now, just to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL to this list and I am actually going to navigate to this list and impersonate a colleague, Diego. So as you can see here, as soon as I land on this SharePoint list, the list has automatically been filtered to display only those items that belong to the current user, Diego Siciliani. And you can see here again that I'm impersonating my colleague Diego. So just to reiterate, if you want to implement a filter to display only those items that belong to the current user, the quickest way to do it when working in the SharePoint Online Modern Experience is to click on the filter pane and to find your person type column, which in my example is this requester column, and to make sure that you check this at me option. Now, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another way that you can implement this type of filter. Um, and specifically, this will be useful if you wanna add other conditions to the filter uh, and if you're working in the SharePoint Online Classic experience. All right, now you can see here that I have removed the at me filter and the list is now displaying all items. The second way that you can implement a filter to only display those items that belong to the current user is by creating or modifying a view. So to do this, what you want to do is scroll to the very top of your SharePoint online interface and you want to click on the all items dropdown and you wanna go ahead and either click create new view or edit current view. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and click edit current view. Next, what you want to do is scroll all the way down until you see this filter group. This filter group is where you can actually come to build out specific filter conditions that will help you reduce the number of items that are displayed in your list or if you wanna have a specific 
um, query that you're looking to retrieve some data, this filter group is how you can actually go about doing that. Now, to implement the same filter that we just looked at, what you want to do is you want to click on the first drop down here and you want to find the column with the person data type. So in my example, I'm going to look for requester. And next, you can leave this field is equal to. And in this last box, what you're going to enter is parentheses me. And you can see here that you can actually just copy this from this little excerpt here. And next, you want to go ahead and scroll right to the bottom and click OK. And again, you can see here that the list has reduced to display only those items where I am the requester. Now, just to demonstrate this again, what I'll do is I will impersonate my colleague Diego. And again, I'm going to navigate back to the SharePoint list. And again, here you can see that when I impersonate my colleague Diego, this view is going to show me only those items where Diego is the requester. Now, the last thing that I'll show you is how to replicate this filter when you're working in the SharePoint Online Classic experience. All right, now you can see here that I have switched to the classic SharePoint online experience. And you can see here that I'm still working in my invoices list and the list is currently displaying all of the items. Now, right off the bat, when you're working in the SharePoint classic experience, which is what you see here, you'll notice that there is no filter pane. So if you're working in a SharePoint online list that looks like this, you're going to have to follow these steps to implement this type of filter. Now what you want to do is you want to scroll up to the top of your list and you want to click on these three dots. And here you can either modify your view or create a new one. I'm just going to go ahead and click modify this view. And you'll notice that this looks identical to the modify view page that we saw when working with the SharePoint online modern experience. And it is identical. So the steps are exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy me. And again, you want to go ahead and select the column with the person data type, which in my case is requester. You want to leave the second field here, your operator to is equal to. And in the last field, you want to enter me. And then you want to scroll to the very bottom and click OK. And here you can see that again, the list has been reduced to display only those items where I am the requester. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can implement a filter in a SharePoint online list to display only those items that belong to the current user. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.